want to ask the former players. They've been in these clubhouses. They know the types of things that are normal and the types of things that are not. Jerry, we'll start with you. When you hear that, what's your reaction? I love it, man. Uh, I, I don't condone violence, but sometimes you you talk about accountability. This is accountability. When somebody tells you the, the face of your franchise now and Francisco Lindor repeatedly, like, man, I need you to step up on defense. You got to do this. You got to do that. And either in some sort of way, he was dismissive of, of, you know, I'm not doing anything wrong or you don't know what you're talking about hold yourself accountable and holding your teammates accountable. This is example A of what, what it takes. I'm not saying to choke anybody, but you got to let him know that he's serious. This is, there's a lot on the line. So I, I like the fact that it was a confrontation. I like the fact that they both brushed it under the table because things happen in a clubhouse. We should never know about it. The fact that it came out like that is silly to me and, and kind of, you know, kind of typical for some of the stuff that's wrong with the Mets as an organization. But I love the fact that Lindor's not afraid to ruffle some feathers. And that's what you need sometimes. I can appreciate everything Jerry's saying, because I think that Lindor, you know, I wish he would have showed a little bit of restraint, but I can understand it because, you know, it sounds like in the article, Jeff McNeil was kind of shooing him at times saying, I, you know, don't worry about it. I know what I'm doing. Forget it. Forget you. I know what, I know what to do, but Lindor is trying to win. And he knows the best way is to give him the opportunity to get to balls that he can get to and make plays. But not only that, I think there are other things that probably came into play with McNeil's attitude as far as his, you know, what he does at the plate and after he makes an out and some of the selfishness that you can kind of see, you know, uh, you know, on and off the field. Uh, now that aside, I will say that as far as accountability, the one thing that really bothers me about this story coming out is the fact that there was none at the time. It was, oh, it was a rat, raccoon, ha ha, funny joke. No, look, just say, look, we had a disagreement. Things got loud. You don't have to say that there was a physical altercation, but you can say things got loud. We got heated. It's over now. And we handled it. And we're going to move forward as a team instead of making up some ridiculous story that nobody believed anyway. Everybody, in my, at least for me, I kind of assumed this is exactly what happened. And the fact that we have to wait till now to find out is actually bothersome. I wish there was more accountability on that level and that that's something that, as Jerry kind of alluded to, the, the Mets you know, need to really take notice to and deal with this offseason. I, I really agree with that last point that Rec made there. The, the good reporting is the only reason that we're finding out the real answers behind what happened on that day. 